Hello, welcome to my ePort 10 video demonstration. So here in this ePort, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a vending machine I've created. So you can see I went ahead and I used JK flip flops for the sole reason being that you have a much you have more variety when it comes to how it is when you run your circuit. The Boolean equations are much easier to wire. As you can see, there are a lot of wires, but not as many gates. It looks a lot cleaner than I thought it would be. Um, but let me just go ahead and start demonstrating. So right now I'm in state A or idle mode. The vending machine is waiting to be used. And from here, any set of inputs will go ahead and move on to the following states in which an item is being selected. State B, I like to call it. So I'm just going to go ahead and trigger X. And right now we are in state B0010 in the outputs. And to get to state C, in which I want to get a soda, I need to turn off the X input. If you have the Y input already triggered, keep that on. So Y input needs to be on high. On the clock, 0101, zero, one, zero, one, we have our soda. And from state C, you can only go to state D. State D basically represents the chance of you receiving any money back. So let's say your soda cost you $3. You put in a 5, you're going to get $2 back in state D. And from state D, any set of inputs will send you back to idle mode. So state D is 0110. And running the clock again, we're back at state A. I want to go back to second state, state B, to demonstrate the other two um, segues into other parts of the circuit. So from state B, you have the option of straight up getting a, a refund for your products. Or there's also the possibility of whatever it is you're asking for is out of stock. And from being out of stock, you're going to get a refund no matter what set of inputs you get. Refund in refund mode, no matter what set of inputs, you go back to idle. But let me just go ahead and demonstrate. Right now, in, in um, right now I am in just in the B state. I'm just going to go ahead and ask for a refund. So for a refund, trigger the X input, and you will reach set state E. I apologize. State E one zero zero zero. Any set of inputs is going to take you back to idle mode. And now I'm going to go back to state B again to demonstrate the machine being out of stock. When it is out of stock, both inputs must be triggered. And we are out of stock. And any set of inputs from here will take you to get a refund. One, zero, zero, zero. Any set of inputs takes you back to idle mode. There we are. And that is my vending machine.